Matthew 27, verse 11. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. We covered this last week. Jesus' lack of response was fulfillment of Isaiah 53. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each one has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. But I don't think it's so much Jesus disciplining himself to intentionally fulfill the prophecy, as it is the prophet's accurate prediction of the wisdom which Jesus possesses. Now, I'm very active on social media. You're probably watching this on social media. It is ironic because I'm not a fan and I avoided it until I started this ministry, and it just so happened to grow much faster online than it did in real life. I also have a political page and I interact in several apologetic pages. Therefore, it can be said that I get caught up in a lot of arguments. What it is taking me time to learn, Jesus inherently knows because he can see the hearts of people. If people are sincerely asking questions for the sake of gaining knowledge, it is well worth engaging them. However, when their questions are rhetorical and designed only so they can yell calumny at you with no desire to learn, only to attack, well then the wiser man ignores the taunts, just keeps his mouth shut. This is what Jesus was explaining in Matthew 7, 6. Do not give dogs what is holy. Do not throw your pearls before swine. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces.